All right, in this video, I'm going to do another uh, equation involving two absolute value expressions. So again, at first, it initially certainly looks like there's only one, but algebraically, again, we can break up this fraction on the left as the absolute value of 2x plus 5 over the absolute value of 3x plus 9 equals 6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by this absolute value of 3x plus 9. So it cancels on the left, so we're left with the absolute value of 2x plus 5 equals 6 times the absolute value of 3x plus 9. And again, what we do at this point to find our solutions, we just create two equations. The first equation, I just basically imagine the bars turn into parentheses. So I'm just re replacing the absolute values with parentheses. I'll have to solve that equation. The other equation, what I do is I remove the bars, and on one of the absolute values, okay, so this is not correct just yet, I, I have to stick a negative on one of the absolute values or the other. I think I'm going to stick it on the one on the left just so it looks a little bit better when I write it. So notice the only distinction. Uh, we remove the absolute values in both of them. One of the equations has a negative present. Okay, so to solve the first one, we can just get remove, remove the parentheses, 2x plus 5. If we distribute the 6, we'll get 18x. 6 and 9 is positive 54. Let's see, I can subtract 2x from both sides. That would give me 16x on the right, plus 54. Now I can subtract 54 from both sides. Let's see, uh, I think uh, 5, uh, 5 minus 54 would be negative 49 equals 16x. And if we want to simply get the x by itself, we can divide both sides by 16. So that'll tell us that negative 49 over 16 is one of our solutions. To do the other solution, we're just going to do the same thing. The first thing I would do is distribute my negative. So I'll get negative 2x minus 5 uh, equals 18x, again, plus 54. Let's see, if I add 2x, I'm going to get 20x on the right, plus 54. And again, if I subtract 54 from both sides, now negative 5 minus 54 is negative 59, equals 20 times x. Again, if I want to solve for x, I'll just divide both sides by 20. And that'll say negative 59 divided by 20 equals x is my other solution.